With its many aesthetic options and outstanding energy performance, glass has become one of the most popular building materials used today. However, when designing buildings with glass, there are some unique issues to keep in mind, including preventing thermal stress breakage. In this video, you'll learn the definition of a thermal stress break and factors that impact glass's ability to resist a thermal stress break, which may include glass type, the type and location of any coatings used, the project's outdoor and indoor shading patterns, the heating vent location and orientation, and the window framing system. Let's start by defining what a thermal stress break is. Thermal stress is generated from the temperature differential between the edges and center of glass. The thermal stress break occurs when the center of the glass heats up and expands while the glass edge remains cool, causing the glass to break at a 90 degree angle. That's why at Vitro Architectural Glass, we always recommend working closely with your fabricator and having a thermal stress analysis completed at the beginning of the design phase to ensure you're getting the right glass for your project's anticipated thermal stress loads. Now, let's discuss some factors that can impact glass and its ability to resist thermal stress breaks. The first is glass type. Glass is available in a wide range of colors from extra clear to the deepest gray tint. Tinted and spectrally selective glasses absorb more solar radiation than conventional clear glass and therefore heat up faster, which makes them more susceptible to thermal stress breaks. Next is the type and location of the coating used. Both reflective and low-E coatings reflect and absorb solar radiation, but where these coatings are placed in an insulating glass unit, or IGU, can increase the amount of solar radiation absorbed and change the associated thermal stress risks. You will also need to consider your project's outdoor shading patterns. Since outdoor shading is seasonal, it is one of the most dynamic factors that can affect glass. One way to deal with this issue is to minimize the locations within your project where less than 50% of the glass panel is covered with shade. This will help you avoid temperature extremes. Indoor shading devices such as blinds or drapes can also increase the temperature of the glass. This happens when the blind or shade reflects the solar radiation back through the glass, reducing the convection and conduction of the heat away from the glass. Similarly, you will need to consider heating vent location and orientation. Registers need to be carefully placed to ensure that warm air isn't being directed at the glass. Finally, look for a framing system that has a low heat capacity as one more way to minimize the chance of a thermal stress break. Given the impact a thermal stress break can have on a project, Vitro developed a thermal stress analysis tool that provides recommendations based on the design of your project. It is available to anyone for free on vitroglazings.com and can help you reduce the risk that the glass units you specify will experience thermal stress breaks. If analysis indicates your glass selection is at risk for greater than eight thermal stress breaks per thousand units, simply adjust your design or consider using heat-treated glass. For more information about how to prevent thermal breaks or any other glass question, please visit vitroglazings.com or call 855-VTROGLS, 855-887-6457.